What are you really guarding anyway? <laughs> Cell phone covers and Cinnabon? So also three ATMs and a Dave and Buster's that just is off the hook after nine. It just gets crazy. Huh. I'm joined now by Mr. Blart himself, Kevin James, as well as his co-star in the film, Eduardo Verastegui. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Thank you, you are giving a face and a name to one of the most thankless jobs in America. That's what it was, that's where it was born from. I, you know, I would see these uh, guys who don't have any, they have all the responsibility of keeping order and they have no weapons and nothing to actually enforce that. So it's, 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 I, it's really scary for them. Yeah, and have you gotten like a good response from security guards? I'm like they're Rocky. You know, that's what <laughs> they look up to me now. I'm like, you know, they, they, I, I'm, you know, they, they've been really kind and nice. Everybody's been really cool about it. And they, they like it because we are giving them a voice. Yeah. Have you guys ever had a job that other people didn't take seriously, but that you did with a lot of heart? I do stand up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, my whole life, honestly, people were, you know, that's where I, you know, I, 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 from landscaping to doing every, mm -hmm. working in a warehouse to working wherever it was. I was, I was a, a, a physical fitness. I was a gym mm -hmm. instructor. At one point, I was. I, I was. I was a personal trainer. I had like. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying it like it's supposed to lead to it was, a joke. It, it was. It doesn't, it's not a joke. It, it just was horrible. I was, but that's what I was for like a little while, and that's when I realized I can do anything because I can just fool people, and that's what I'm hmm. doing. And you guys are taking part in National Security Guard Day. Why did you feel like it was important to sort of give back to this group? Because of that reason. They, they you know, they are underappreciated. It's hmm. hard. It's a hard job for them to do, and they do. You know, I, I go to the local mall. They're they're great there. They're they're very they're, they're fun to watch and they're you know again it's a tough job when you don't have the weapons that yeah. you know a regular police officer. And they're gonna be everyday heroes too. You know they are helping uh, people every day and and without expecting anything in return and just good people and that's that's who he is in the movie and 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 I think this is going to inspire a lot of people to use their talents to do the right thing. It's a it's a family uh, comedy Huge action family. comedy. Yeah, I got kids uh, now and I have four kids. My gosh, and. Uh, you, you just want to be able, I wanted to make movies where parents can feel comfortable bringing their mm -hmm. kids to a movie and have a great time together as a family. So, you know, we're, we're excited about this one.